hi guys welcome to my channel and in today's video we'll talk about how can we deploy a set of code or metadata which is in sfdx format and it can be present in your code repo it could be present in your local machine anywhere so how can we deploy all of that through your local machine into the salesforce instance it could be a production instance it could be a sandbox or it could be a test instance as well so these kind of requirements may arise to where we need to do a deployment from your local machine or the code we have which doesn't have any ci cd setup you don't have a repository you don't have any ci cd tool setup so you just have to deploy in some test or mock environment right and uh, this is just a shortcut way to uh, deploy but there is a way to do so so what we'll be doing is we'll be using vs code for that and i have made a video previously i'll share the link as well where how you can set up vs code for salesforce now let me do that uh, quickly here so this is a vs code window i'll click Control shift p and there's an option called create project with manifest so i'll click on this click on standard i'll provide a name as test local deploy you can provide your sandbox name or anything like that and i'll go to to select a location where your project will be created I'll select this folder and create project so to make this work you have to install the salesforce extension i can quickly show you which ones yeah so there is this salesforce extension pack make sure you have it and you should have salesforce cli installed in your local machine you can simply google it and install it so now uh, the sfdx project has been generated and i need to connect to the org the salesforce org where i want to deploy the metadata which i already have now again i have to click on Control shift p and type in authorize an org sometimes it won't show up uh, so i'll just click here and again try Control shift p now it might not show up sometimes so close this and again press on Control shift p and you will get this sftx authorize an org option click on that and according to your url so if it's a production it will be login.salesforce.com if it's a sandbox test of salesforce.com you can provide custom name as url as well for now i'll click on login.salesforce.com because i'm doing in a training org and usually url is login.salesforce.com and I'll provide this name so as soon as you provide that it will take you to a salesforce login page make sure like you provide the correct url for the when you selected in here because it will open that link only so this is my trial trial org so I'll log in into it. So once it is logged in, automatically it will reflect back in my VS code as authorize an org successfully ran. And here it will show my org name, my org name which I provided typing. You can make sure you provide correct org names so that you can distinguish properly and 
right now we have connected our org but if you go and reveal this whatsapp folder even though there are folders it will be fully empty so what i'll do is i'll delete all of it and now what we'll do is the code which we already have be it in your local machine be it in a code repo which your project is using where the code is already there and the set of code you want to deploy you have to put it in this folder the folder which is connected to dev test this deploy org okay so let's do that now to give a very simple example i have created a I've copied a metadata of some account fields. This foreign currency one, foreign currency two, three, four. So all of this is coming from my repo or some other org, which from where I might have taken the extract of these fields. And I have pasted the in the SFDX format inside the default folder in the location where I have connected my VS code just now. So you can see it is showing as inside this folder. Now to deploy this, I can right click and click on deploy source to org. Now what it will do is it will try to deploy these four new fields, which is coming from some other org or some other place which is our objective right uh, to deploy any other uh, metadata from uh, other org or anywhere we get it to the org which we have connected right now so we'll just right click and click on deploy source to org now before we do that we can select different levels of deployment now if we just click on deploy source to org it will start a by default deployment to the org. Now, if it is a sandbox, we don't have an option to select the test classes which it will run or select the local test or whether it's a validation. If you want to run a validation, we can't do that. It will simply start a deployment against the org. Now, to have a selective way to deploy that will be if we click on this terminal, and we provide SFDX deploy commands. Now, you don't have to worry about them. I have already jotted, jotted them down. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. So this is a, a simple SFDX deploy command, for source deploy. This parameter minus P is telling whatever inside FortSAP folder is present, it will blindly deploy to the org. Now, if you are confused, this is the four sub folder. So inside that we have our four fields. Basically everything is inside this four sub folder only. Next parameter is minus C. So minus C is provided if you run, want to run a validation. Now, if you just want to simply deploy it, you can remove this minus C part. And finally, the test level. Now, test level is which test level you want to run in the Salesforce org. So, right now I have written as run local test. There is an option to select set of test classes, and there is an option to run all classes. So, all those values I'll be providing in the description. So, let's not make it more confusing uh, i'll just segregate them uh, in the description you don't have to worry about them so you can simply for now i'll just i will not run any test classes and i'll start a validation against the org just to check the sanity so i'll copy just till this part i'm not running any test classes i'll copy and paste it and click on enter
So it is showing it is deploying five components and it is having successfully validated the deployment with zero test run. You want to validate that? Let me go to the org and show you quickly. Go to setup, deployment status. And on today's date, it is showing validated successfully. You can click on view details. It is showing four components. Now, here also it is showing four out of four. And we are good. Now, since it has only validated, the components won't reflect in the org. Let me go to the account object. Fields. So we can see there is only one foreign currency, but right now we are trying to deploy foreign currency one, two, three, four. Now, if let's go to the easiest way, uh, which is possible to deploy, we'll just simply right click on the four sub folder and click on deploy source to org. This is all you need to know if you don't want to remember any SFDX command or you don't want to make it more complicated. So simply click on deploy source to org and sales for cli is running it is telling that deploy source to our grant successfully now since there were only one two three four fields it is giving this confirmation as well it deployed so quickly usually it takes more time than that if there are more components let us refresh the deployment status and here it is it is showing that a deployment has successfully ran and it should show the four components yes that is the four components let me refresh the account fields page and here you can see these four fields have been created successfully into the org so that serves our purpose as well and it the folder structure could be much more uh, other than objects right there could be classes there could be layouts there could be any metadata type which you can name and we can easily deploy simply by clicking right clicking on force app and deploy source to org hope this video was helpful if you have any comments any doubts anything uh, just reach out to me you can drop a comment i'll surely get back to you and yeah uh, i'll see you next time in the next video thank you